You're not imagining it. Search results are worse, websites feel the same, and it's getting harder to find real answers online. The culprit, not some hacker group or shadowy cabal, it's Google. The same company that organized the internet is now slowly strangling it. This is the story of how Google's dominance, built on relevance and trust, has quietly turned the internet into a hollow machine. One clickbait article, AI-generated post, and ad tracker at a time. In the early 2000s, Google was the hero. Its clean interface, smart search, and don't be evil mantra made it the gateway to human knowledge. You typed in a question. You got thoughtful answers, forums, blogs, niche websites, all competing on quality. But Google didn't just index the web, it shaped it. Because the moment Google started ranking content, people started optimizing for it. That was the beginning of the end. At first, search engine optimization, SEO, was harmless. Then came the flood. Low quality websites began gaming the system, repeating keywords, stuffing links, copying answers. Suddenly, the best results weren't the most helpful. They were the most optimized. This gave rise to content farms, sites that churned out thousands of low effort articles written by underpaid freelancers or AI. Google fought back with algorithm updates, but each fix led to new exploits. The web became a cat and mouse game, and users lost. Frustrated with bad search results, Google had a solution. Put the answer right in the search result. Weather, sports scores, summaries, AI-generated blurbs, pulled from websites without a click. Convenient for users, disastrous for creators. Traffic plummeted, ad revenue collapsed, many sites died, the irony? Google was profiting from both sides. They controlled the traffic and sold the ads. Then came generative AI. Now the internet is flooded with synthetic content. Articles written by bots, fake reviews, Quora answers generated in bulk. And ironically, they rank well because they're optimized for Google's algorithm. We've entered an Ouroboros, AI content trained on AI content, served by an AI search engine to feed back into AI models. Even Google's own answers are now AI generated, and they sometimes hallucinate. So where's the truth? Lost in a sea of noise, Reddit threads replaced forums, Amazon reviews replaced blogs, TikToks replaced tutorials. Google is still the map, but the destinations are disappearing. The internet is becoming like a shopping mall after dark. The lights are on, the signs are up, but there's nothing real behind the windows a ghost town of SEO-optimized, ad-riddled, AI-fluffed pages. Google didn't mean to kill the internet. It meant to organize it. But somewhere along the way, profit overtook purpose. Now, we're left with an internet full of mirrors, reflections of reflections, pages made for robots, not humans. And until something changes, the web will keep getting dumber, noisier, and less human, all thanks to the company that was supposed to help us find what we're looking for.